So here we are adding tone with a 3B pencil to our grid portrait. Right, so here I've just done a quick tonal range from dark to light. You, what you need to do is you need a large range of values, so that means dark, medium, light, so that you can make your face look three dimensional. So I'm just having a quick practice going from dark to light. If you use small pencil movements and go back and forth, it's much easier to control your pencil. And you want to think about the direction of your pencil too. Uh, if you're going over the face, you don't want to do multiple directions. You want to just have one direction. And then you can use different kinds of strokes to create different kinds of textures as well, which is quite important for things like hair, eyebrows. And you want to go into the direction that the face is moving. The face is not a flat object. It's very curvy. If you have a good look in the mirror, there's bumps and uh, intrusions everywhere. Even the most beautiful of us are not that beautiful with regards to uh, a flat mirror. Thank God we're not like flat mirrors. Okay, so you have your, your grid, you have your reference photo, peering close up, and then I'm starting with the eye. So I just want to think again about the direction of the aisle, following that round, and having a close look at the pupil and iris, and adding some patterns. Obviously, I've speeded this up. It actually took me about say 40 minutes to draw this section um, and add in tone. You can work at your own speed and as you work you can start erasing those faint grid lines so that they won't show and then you can do some even shading over the top. Be careful with the direction that you're going in. You don't want to do like big scribbly lines, small pencil movements and building up slowly, adding shadow to the eyeball because obviously the eyeball is three dimensional and I'll just clean my razor there and then cleaning those lines away as you go. So you don't need to see the squares, you can just add the tone. Nearly finished, right? So then add into the eyebrow. Here you've got the eye socket, so just building that layer up, and the eye socket, the shadow up to the the bridge of the nose, adding that shadow and under the shadow of the hat. Notice I'm not scribbling back and forth, even though sometimes I have to do lines, like my wrinkles, my bags under my eyes, I also have to do directional shading. So I'm still being very careful about the direction I'm going in. Start a little bit light. I know, I see I keep going too dark myself, but it's tempting to go very, very dark, very, very quickly, and I don't really recommend that. It's much better to start lighter and then um, build it up as you go along. Um, you can always go back and make something much darker. It's very hard to do that, um, make make something lighter. It just ends up looking a bit dirty. Like, so if it's clean, just leave it clean. You can always go back afterwards. Again, I'm having to follow the curve of my nose, my big nose. Um, but... It, when it comes to the, the main shadows, I'm still trying to be very careful with regards to the direction of my mark making. I'm not trying to do some squiggly hairs at the moment. I'm just trying to do the curves of the, the face and the flesh. So I don't want anything too pronounced. Um, I'm finishing the other eye, finally. And it's very important to get most of the, the face done before you go back and you add... Um, areas that are dark or light because you, you need something to compare with but if you haven't done the whole picture it's very hard to tell how dark the dark should be and how light the light should be you really need to have everything more or less in place first um, just moving down to the, the shadows on the lips and obviously you don't want this to be too dark because you don't want yourself well being a woman I really don't want to look like I have a big moustache but it is a caricature kind of a portrait, so I do want to have those twisted lines on, on the mouth. Now, when it comes to the mouth, obviously I'm switching my, my pencil movements around because I want the lines of the lips um, to, again, follow the shape of the mouth. Um, so come back and see how it all turns out.